Farming has never been an easy life. And in Arizona, drought and encroachment have only added to the list of challenges. But as ABC 15 reporter Mark Phillips found out, small farms across our state are starting to thrive again by working together. They've already cut costs and created new markets to sell their food. Tomatoes from Santan Valley, onions and lettuce from Polden, melons from Litchfield Park, and carrots from Mesa. Fresh produce ready for pickup, part of the Farm Raiser program in Tempe. Supporting local farms, the ones who are dedicated to farming here in the city and are around the outskirts, and it also brings the community together. The Farm Raiser program is one of several alternative food distribution streams created by the Sun Produce Cooperative. The co-op connects small farms across the state with restaurants, food banks, and community organizations. It becomes a reliable income for us. We know how much to grow. We can plan ahead. We can um, make a market that's a much more sustainable. Morgan Wimburn's farm is just a quarter acre. Others are as large as 100 acres. When you're supporting a farmer in South Phoenix, that money stays in our state. It contributes to the economy. The Sun Produce Co-op helps farmers create new markets, transports their crops to buyers, and helps keep down production costs. It has meant that they can spend more time on their farm, farming, which is what they want to do and what they do best. And the co-op gets the produce directly into the neighborhoods, like Mitchell Park in Tempe. I like the idea of getting uh, farm-to-table food. In the five years the co-op's been in existence, it's grown from seven farms to 40. And this year, it hopes to provide as much as $800,000 in new business for those farmers. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona.